Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So some time ago, I posted a video that Microsoft was testing a new search button. Back then, they were testing the feature in Edge Canary, which is a preview version. Now, I have noticed over the last day or so, uh, in the stable version of Microsoft Edge, which is currently sitting on version 122, soon to be upgraded to version 123, that this dedicated search button that appears here uh, in the navigation toolbar is making an appearance in the stable version. Now, it has been coming and going, and I've only seen it on my Windows 10 device in Microsoft Edge and not on my Windows 11 device. So this means that it could be Microsoft A-B testing the feature and it's rolling out using a controlled server-side update. Now, just to show you what this is all about, um, you will notice now, as an example, if I head into my settings, and I navigate away from my home page. There's the search button, start new search. So basically this is like a, how I'm, I'm summing up this feature is this is like a quick search button. So if you are finding yourself in another area of the browser and not um, on a page where you can do a dedicated search, you click that and there we go. You can now search the web or online accordingly. Now, when I mentioned this feature previously, um, I said that it was basically a duplicate. And since it's rolled out now to the stable version, I am kind of seen to some extent or the other how this could be useful to start a new search if you find yourself in another area of the browser. Now, obviously, this could be considered bloat by a lot of users. And if uh, it is considered bloat, um, you have a couple of options. You can just, what you can do is you can just right click and you can hide that from the toolbar. Or if you head into your appearance in the settings on the appearance page and you scroll down, you will see a new toggle called search button. So you just pop that off and there we go. It's been removed. So you've got one or two options to be able to hide it, which I think is always a nice move where we are given options. And uh, um, if you are seeing this feature, you may have seen it already, you may have not. But if you are seeing the feature, just uh, kind of let me know what your thoughts are on this, if, if you find it useful or not. And it'll be interesting to know if this is rolling out to more regions, or as mentioned, this could just be Microsoft AB testing the feature. And uh, um, this now available in the stable version. And... I do see the benefit in some areas, but as mentioned, just bringing a little bit more bloat into the browser. But that's the new start, new search button that's now been added um, into Edge version 122, which is the current stable release. And it'll be interesting to know with version 123 if this new search button uh, does, does start making a kind of a wider appearance and start running out to a wider audience with version 123 which will be rolling out over the next day or so. So it's going to be interesting to see what Microsoft does with that new search button. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.